Hi, this is Mr. Adam Mac, and today I'm going to show you how to flash a Hitachi drive on an Xbox 360 um, ROM version 79FL. Um, if you don't know what that means or if you had that type of drive, you can type into Google Xbox 360 optical drives or DVD drives and it will give you a bunch of pictures of different drives and you can figure out which one you have. But the one I'm doing today is a Hitachi and version 79 and the different versions do mean something um, the version 79 is actually the hardest of the Hitachi's to flash because there's an extra step um, but I'll get into that um, in a little bit um, right now I'm gonna show you um, that the burned games don't work yet um, so I'm gonna do that here I have a opened Xbox 360 if you don't know how to open one um, check out my previous video on how to open Xbox 360s, but this is just your opened Xbox. Um, I'm going to turn it on here, just on the RF board. And then I have a burned copy of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 right there. And I'm going to put that in. And then I have a little mini projector set up right here so you can kind of see um, if it works or not. I just have it all in one place so I don't have to move a bunch of stuff around but I'm gonna put that in and close it and then we'll see if it works here I can probably focus this a little bit better um, let's see here this looks like it's as good as it's gonna get but you'll just see what happens when you put in a burn game alright so that's what it's gonna look like if your Xbox 360 isn't flashed and you put a burn game in it's just gonna have this Xbox 360 sign up and when you look on the main menu it'll say play DVD instead of play game um, that just means it doesn't recognize the burn game yet so right now I'm gonna go away and then come back with it set up in the computer and we'll get to flashing alright now I'm gonna show you how to hook up your Xbox to your computer um, I'm not gonna be able to get a real good shot of this because it is a webcam that I'm using to record this but um, if you look inside your computer um, and you can Google this on how to do this, but um, if your motherboard has a serial ATA slot, a SATA slot, um, you're going to want to hook up a SATA cable, which looks like this, uh, into your motherboard, and then you're going to hook the other end, which is this end, into your drive. Now, the way you do this is if you look on the back of your Hitachi drive, well, all the drives have this, but since we're doing Hitachi, that's what I'm going to show you. Um, you see two little cords like this now this right here is a power cord that gives the drive power and this is your like information SATA cord which sends the game information to the motherboard of the Xbox now this is a SATA cable and you're gonna unplug it from the back here it just pops right out like that it just pops out and just leave it connected to your motherboard because you're gonna reconnect it when you plug everything back in and now you're going to take your SATA cable from your computer and plug it into there. And just plug it in like that. And then put your drive back down in your Xbox. Well, you don't have to, but... Alright, just down back in there. And now, there's... Um, in the description, I'm going to have the links for everything. The uh, flashing program I use, and then uh, two more links, or one more link. Um, the one other link is going to be something called Slacks, which you're just gonna download the file that I have in the description it's gonna be a .iso file and you're gonna burn it to a disk now if you don't know how to do burning ISO files to disk you're just gonna look that up on YouTube or Google or something but you're gonna burn that to a disk and name it slacks just like that and you're gonna put your slacks disk into your um, CD or DVD drive in your computer not your Xbox so I have an external DVD drive like this and I'm just gonna turn it on and open it up and I'm gonna put that right in there. This is hooked up to my computer, not my Xbox. Put that in. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn on your Xbox with it hooked up to the computer. And you're gonna turn your computer off. With the Slack CD in and your Xbox on, you're gonna turn your computer off. Now, I'm not doing a proper shutdown, but sorry. And now I'm gonna go away and then come back and show you the next step. Okay, now with your Xbox on and your computer turned off and your slacks and your DVD 
um, player in your computer or CD player you're going to turn your computer on now when you turn it on you're gonna hold down F8 on your keyboard F8 just keep holding it down and this is gonna pop up now these are all your different boot devices um, the first one you can see is my floppy drive the second one is the Xbox that's what the Xbox looks like the third one is my hard drive my internal hard drive and this fourth one is my DVD player with the slack CD in now whatever your slack CD is in that's what you want to choose so just press enter when you find it and this will come up and just uh, wait for this to load just um, just look at this screen just keep watching and this is all going to go through okay now when it comes to this screen when it says I don't know if you can see this it's kind of cut off but at the bottom it says spinning up disk and when it says that you're going to come down here to your Xbox and we're going to put it into mode B okay now if you watch it closely you press it to open and that's what it looks like when it opens now if you look at the light here it'll blink once and it won't close when you press eject and it takes two presses to close it and now if it's in mode B it should automatically open by itself you see how I did that I took my thumb away it opened up by itself now that means that your Xbox is in mode B I'm gonna show you one more time if you look closely at that light the green light once you press it should blink once if it blinks once and then you have to press it again that means you're in mode B and now it'll open up by itself now that means you're in mode B. Now, to keep your Xbox shut, to keep the drive uh, tray shut, you're going to have to do something. Um, once you press, you know how it blinks, and you press one more time, and then while it's closing, you're going to press a third time. So you press once and it's closing, press one more time. So you press a total of three times, once and it blinks, twice and it closes, and while it's closing, you press the eject button one more time. Now that means that the Xbox is in mode B and the tray should now stay shut. Um, now you can see that our Slacks um, CD comes to a screen that says Slacks Login. Now all you're going to do is you're going to just turn off your computer. Once it comes to this screen, at the bottom it says Slacks Login. Just turn off your computer and keep your Xbox on in mode B. So just turn off the computer. All right, now I'm going to go away and come back, and we're going to... All right, um, now that your Xbox is in mode B, and um, your computer's off, you're going to turn your computer back on and hold down F8 again. Just hold down F8. Okay, this screen comes up again, and now you're going to choose whatever your hard drive is. Now this floppy drive is not, and that's the Xbox like I said. Now that's what I want to choose. I don't know what yours is going to look like, but you want to choose whatever your hard drive is. Your hard drive with your operating system on it. Alright, now I'm going to choose Start Windows Normally. And just wait for Windows to boot up. And your Xbox should still be on and in mode B. Now I'm going to choose my username. Okay. Um, when your computer has booted up, um, like I said, I'm going to put the link in the description to download this that I'm going to open right now. But you're going to want to open your Jungle Flasher folder. This is what your folder should look like. Jungle Flasher. Now you're going to choose the application Jungle Flasher and double click. And just wait for Jungle Flasher to open. Alright, this is what Jungle Flasher looks like. 
Um, you're going to see at the top you have four tabs, a firmware tool, DVD key, MTK flash,